ever thought about easily updating all your Linux stuff to the newest versions? Meet with sudo apt full upgrade. This command replaces and removes outdated packages in a snap. So are you ready to dive into this quick guide on running sudo apt full upgrade and gain essential insights into the art of upgrades with apt? Then let's roll and check the description box for commands and the article links. The apt full upgrade command in Ubuntu primarily updates a package to its latest version. However, we should use it with caution as it may remove the old version, potentially impacting system stability. So we must be careful when executing this command to prevent unintended changes that could result in a broken Linux OS. To upgrade the packages in your Linux system, open the terminal and update the package list with the command sudo apt update. Now, to perform a full upgrade, run the command sudo apt full upgrade. Now, be aware that this command can potentially break some installed packages. So, take a moment to review the packages before confirming with Y. And after confirming, press Y. Now, reboot your system with sudo reboot. And here my system starts again. Now let's look at this table to understand the key differences between sudo apt upgrade versus full upgrade. Sudo apt upgrade performs the upgrade process without causing any changes to the system or removing old versions. Whereas apt full upgrade goes a step further by addressing any issues and if needed, removes old versions and ensures a complete package upgrade. Imagine you have a special software package with connections to older versions. Now think that apt full upgrade coming in and maybe taking away your custom software when upgrading. Not exactly what you would want, right? So when using this command, be careful to avoid any unwelcome surprises. Suppose you have two software buddies X and Y, happily relying on graphics card version 1. Now let's spice things up by upgrading X to the cool version 2. Here is the twist. The new distro's party does not have the version 1 graphics card anymore. Enter apt full upgrade, deciding version 1 is outdated and tossing it out. And as the Y was depending on that card, it's left standard. So the moral of the story is, Upgrades can be a wild ride, and apt full upgrade might throw unexpected surprises. There are tons of reasons that you should have the apt full upgrade command, such as it ensures a complete upgrade of the packages to their updated versions available. Next, it updates the security system and maintains a healthy environment. Moreover, it resolves dependency conflicts. It also avails new features and fixes the bugs encountered during the upgrade process. Then it gives long-term support to the users. So that's all about apt full upgrade. Hope you are feeling confident on using sudo apt full upgrade. Now that you know the ropes, dive in, upgrade away and enjoy the Linux magic. And if you face any problem, feel free to visit our website and channel. Thank you.